Hello everybody, welcome back to Storytime with Dog. And today's story is someone farted. <laughs> someone farted by Bruce Eric Kaplan. <laughs> One Saturday morning, the Krupke family went to the supermarket to do their dreaded weekly food shopping. They drove in silence until Sally said quietly without looking up from her book, Someone farted. Everyone took a whiff. She was right. <gasps> it wasn't me, said Vinny. The parents denied it was them. Everyone looked at Sally, who finally said, It Definitely wasn't me. <clears throat> they all rolled down their windows, but the smell kept getting worse and worse. Clearly, whoever it was, was still farting which brought a new round of accusations and denials. <laughs> Their mother, prone to overreacting, said, I think I'm going to faint. Vinny, prone to worrying, asked, Is there any way it could kill us? The smell was still so, so bad, which only made them all more upset. Their mother looked in her bag for something to make the smell go away. All she found was some hand sanitizer which she desperately started spraying everywhere. Oh, their father screamed because it got in his eyes. He almost got to do an accident. Oh, no. A police officer pulled them over and wanted to know what was wrong. Someone farted, everyone shouted. Then the squabbling began once more. Vinnie and Sally erupted into violence, throwing all the old junk in the back seat at each other. An old comic book with pages missing that they read over and over again. A toy car Vinnie played with once and then never again. A pencil, which should never be in the back seat, ever. A small ball that looked like earth for some reason. Accidentally hitting the policeman in the face. One of the 8,000 party favors that had never made it out of the car. <laughs> So they were arrested and brought downtown. <laughs> they were put in a cell with a couple of kidnappers and some thieves. Oh no. One of the kidnappers wanted to know what they were in for. Someone farted, Sally explained. The 
kidnapper edged away from them nervously. Each family member was taken in separately for questioning. Not one of them admitted to the farting. I wonder who did it. <clears throat> Back together in the cell, they all started fighting again. It got uglier and uglier until Vinny started to cry. Oh, no. Maybe it was me, he said. Maybe I was so involved with my book I didn't notice. His parents looked at him, overcome with emotion. Oh, it feels like for Vinny now. His mother hugged him and said, It was probably me. Then his father said, Maybe it was me. Sally said, Well, it definitely wasn't me. Her parents shot her angry looks. <laughs> oh. She's lying, said one of the kidnappers. Just then, they were taken to court for disturbing the peace. Well, the justice system works quick. The judge was scary, like all judges. But that didn't stop the father from giving an impassioned speech about blame and shame and love and family and, of course, farting. Gosh darn it, I love my family, farts and all. The case was dismissed. <laughs> the Krupkis left jail triumphantly, determined to put this all behind them. They were at peace, each one full of gratitude and happy. Until they realized they still needed to do all of the boring things they did every Saturday, starting with going to the supermarket. The end. Well, they never said who farted. I wonder if it really was Sally that farted, because she kept saying, It wasn't me, it wasn't me. I bet it was. <laughs> what, what do you think? You think it was Vinny? Maybe he just had an accident? I don't know. That's a cute book, though. Well, thank you for coming to Storytime with Doug. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.